And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show brings you the National League Championship Series. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers, the St. Louis Cardinals. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shelby. And Singy, there's been a lot to talk about already in this series as we head into game four. Well, if the first three games are any indication, this has the look of a series that'll go all the way to game seven, Boog. I think this is a classic matchup, and we've seen momentum change course a few times already. But I'll tell you what, I think whoever takes this one will be feeling really good about their chances the rest of the way. Yeah, that's a good point. We've seen it before. Even when you're down 2-1, it seems like a win in game four can propel you to a series win more often than not. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go. And for the Cardinals here this afternoon, Steven Matz. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. Will elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. So just about set. And here's the veteran outfielder, Mookie Betts. Next offering is fouled back. The one two. Ripped on a line. And he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Here's Trey Turner. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. Mookie on the move. Pitches low. Throw to second and great jump. Well, he's batting leadoff, and he's acting like a traditional leadoff hitter. Gets on base to start the game, then puts himself on second with a nice stolen bag. I think that sets the tone for the offense for sure. To third. Oh, great stop. Throw to first, and they get the out. Wow, singing. He showed off great reaction time and arm strength on that play. We need to take another look at it. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. I mean, the stat cast numbers are absolutely impressive, but that's one of those plays I appreciate more with the naked eye. The reflexes, top notch. And this guy's a magician with the glove. Turner climbs in on that right side at the belt and fires. Foul ball. Betts, the runner at second with one away. Next offering is down low. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And he takes it himself for the out. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. The pitch. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And the Dodgers score first. It's one zip. Picks himself up in RBI. He kind of muscled that one out there. Didn't get the barrel with it, but the important part was that he found a way to stay through the baseball and just drop it into center field. Here's the catcher to hit, Will Smith. This guy has turned into a beast. In the dirt. He's in there. And here.
here it comes. Look out! And it hit him. He seems to have lost a little bit of focus on executing that pitch right there, not staying through the target, and clearly not the release point he wanted. Here comes Max Muncy. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. I think it's huge that they were able to score right away. You're playing on the road, stakes are high, energy in the ballpark, and you help to quiet that down a little bit. Next pitch is downstairs. First and second, two down. Ground ball, Goldie. The flip to the pitcher covering. They get the out on Muncie. And that is that. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1-0. of the first and today's starting pitcher Tony Gonsolin well that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand and because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike hitters commit to that pitch and before they know it they're swinging over the top of that curveball bottom of the first Tommy Edmond at the plate he's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed but he can absolutely move and it is a factor in his game that's inside. Oh. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. The 2-1. And that one fouled off. Now all even up. This one lifted in the air, left field. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Taylor throws to second. Not going to get him. He's in there. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They've got to go a long way as well. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Going, Rudder going, breaks for third. Ball. Pitch misses. Bro, and they got him. Thought he might have a chance to swipe third successfully right there when he got a good jump from second. But it was such a great throw. Quick tag to cut him down. stays alive the wind of the pitch just misses the mark outside the zone really good take especially with two strikes on the ground to the left throw on to Freeman and they get Goldschmidt for the out Here's Tyler O'Neill. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. That one is absolutely belted. And gone! Tyler O'Neill sends it out. And we're all square. It's 1-1.
pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Here's Nolan Arenado. Fouls one off. Two and two. The wind and the pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Third out, and that ends the frame. But a run scores in the inning as this solo home run ties things up. All even at one apiece. Second inning set to go. Now the left fielder, Chris Taylor. Next pitch misses, two and one. And he deals. And that chance handled. Tosses to first, Taylor out of the play. And now it's Gavin Lux. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Next pitch has popped up. Edmund drifts towards it, squeezes it, and there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Cody Bellinger. Kicks and deals. Next pitch in for a strike. Three and two now. And now the lefty cut on and missed, struck him out. Out number three. Dodgers down in order. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back here at Bush Stadium, bottom half of inning number two. Now up for St. Louis, Dylan Carlson. offering in the dirt and a count two and one two and one the count now he hasn't seen a fastball yet but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a three one count and the right hander deals and a big swing and a miss man he was really tardy on that fastball great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball add some velocity to it on the next pitch can't catch up Two two now. Bounce to the left side. Turner collects it. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Batting six. The designated hitter. Dory Dickerson. Here's Dickerson now. And a count one and two. Next offering is foul back. Tied up here in the early going. And a foul ball, he stays alive. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach.
Next pitch inside. Now two and two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Three balls, two strikes, the count. Popped up. Lux in position, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Two down. And stepping up to the dish is Yadier Molina. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. The cards leave one. Score remains tied 1-1. One, one. Back here in St. Louis, onto the third inning. And now the right fielder, Mookie Betts. And a pitch. No. Three balls, two strikes, full count. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Bader under this one. Makes the catch for the out. Trey Turner at the plate. In the air, out towards right center. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Not stopping. He's going for three. And he'll make it into third with a triple. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Man, I love the hustle out of the box right there to make that triple happen. And just an absolute laser into the opposite field gap. He was digging hard the entire way. Justin Turner now. Grounded out his first time. The 1-1. One, one. And that's outside. Two ball, one strike. That's off the mark. And the count is 3-1. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Turner awaiting a 3-1. Base hit, and a run comes in. Well, let's get a better feel for that rocket by diving into the numbers with StatCast. Singy, he didn't miss it. No, clearly not. I mean, he launched that ball at 118 off the bat, and that's just ridiculous power. You know, very few guys can hit a ball as hard as he just did right there. Line drive. He's got it. And there's two away. Now will Next to hit, Will Smith. Hit by a pitch his first time up. Two outs. So now okay. two on. And two outs. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. 
Turner, the lead runner at second. Smith at first, two out of the inning. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. And a pitch. And that'll load the bases. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Chris Taylor down. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Boog, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Base hit, one run is in. Knocks it down. Runner from second crosses the play. It's 4-1. And he'll make it to second base with two gone. Well, some errors hurt way more than others, right? I mean, two runs come in right there, so definitely a tough one to get over. And that could have been a very different result if they make the play cleanly. Stepping in is the speedy Gavin Lux. And a 1-1. And that one wrapped foul. The next pitch misses. It's 2-2. Two and two. Action in the St. Louis bullpen. Jake Woodford getting ready to go. Waddell warming up as well. Two two now, Ball. and downstairs. Ball down. And that one handled in plenty of time to first. They limit the damage here. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Dodgers four and the Cardinals one. Back here at the ballpark, and now Bader up to the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Comes a 2-2. He can't squeeze it. Stays alive. Swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. This one's got a chance. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Harrison Bader hits one out. His second home run of the series, and they're chipping away. It's 4-2. like this guy was looking out over the plate but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball so direct to the pitch absolutely blasted out of this ballpark back to the leadoff spot in the st louis lineup tommy edmund next up for the cardinals got him and that's the first out nice recovery after giving up the homer Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Next offering is in for a strike. He deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
two away. Oh, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance to make the contact with that pitch. And yeah, the batter now, Tyler O'Neill. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. 3-2 now. To the right side. Freeman over to first in time. And O'Neill is retired. That is the inning. Cards claw back a bit on the homer. It's now 4-2. Welcome back. And now the center fielder, Cody Bellinger. Here comes a pitch. That's ripped. Base hit. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Good piece of hitting going the other way with that pitch to beat the shift. You know, not a lot of guys are willing to do that, even with the shift on, because they're looking to pull the ball with authority. But it's a pretty easy hit if you want it. Here's Mookie to hit. To kick the 3-2. Got him swinging. And there's one down. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Trey Turner now. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So one out with two aboard. Now Justin Turner gets a chance to hit. One for two. Next offering is downstairs. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And the next pitch is way outside. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle-of-the-order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. The 3-1. They say it went. Kicks and fires. On the ground right side. Four. Six. Three double play, and the inning is over. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning. And welcome back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Nolan Arenado. Righty delivers. Fought off foul. Next one misses. Two balls, two strikes. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Tyler Anderson looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Haney getting loose as well. 
and a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Taylor makes the catch. One down. The right fielder, number three, Dylan Carlson. So up next, Dylan Carlson. First time up, he grounded to third. Up the middle, he dives, but he can't make the catch. He doesn't have a play, and they don't get an out on the play. Now the designated hitter. Here's Corey Dickerson. Dickerson. Tying run at the plate. And the one two misses to even the count. Two two now. And down on strikes he goes. Now two out. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Now Molina at the plate. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Bellinger makes the catch, and that'll do it. So one left for the Cardinals. They trail it here, 4-2. to two. Righty reliever out of the pen, Jake Woodford. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. So at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. We go to the top of the fifth. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And here's a 3-2. On the ground right side, DeYoung picks it up, gets it to first, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. now will be Will Smith. Next offering is in for a strike. Right-handed reliever. Swings and misses. Now two away. Well, when you throw the same pitch back to back, that's how you want to do it. Set him up in the strike zone, then extend a little bit from there and see if you can get him to chase. Nicely done with the slider right there. Two outs, base is empty. Max Muncy at the dish. One, two now. Now with the shift on, hits right into it. DeYoung throws the first in time, and that will end the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, but they still lead this one 4-2. to two. Back here at Bush Stadium, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Digging in, Paul DeYoung. One one bounced out to short, zips it across, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. The back, the center field, Harrison Bader. Harrison Bader now at the plate. He's already homered in this game. One down, base is empty. And that's through there for a strike. The 
Hawaii to kick the pitch. Next Whoa. offering misses down and away. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And there are two outs. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Tommy Edmond. That one lifted to left. And that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got his second double of the game. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Tyler Anderson, and he'll work on holding this lead. Man at second here with two away. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Anderson ready to work. And that's oh. down it away. Well, with both starters out of the game, this quickly becomes a bullpen game. And this is something we see more and more in the game today, especially in the postseason. Edmund on at second with two down. And he grounds one back up the middle. Sends it to first. And that is that. The cards leave one. Still down by a count of four to two. Back here in St. Louis. All set for the top of the sixth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Chris Taylor. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. On the ground. And that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it and... There's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now here is Gavin Lux. <laughs> on the ground left side, six, four, three, but it's not in time, and they just get one. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Throw to first, and he's back in safely. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Left-hand hitter waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. On the ground to first. Could be two. Fair ball. Lux headed for the plate. He'll score easily. And they lead by three. In there safely. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. So the lineup flips over. Here's Mookie Betts for the fourth time tonight. The pitch. And that one hit to first. Oh, what a stop. And very nicely done for the out. Well, he makes a great decision to go ahead and dive to stop that ball. Nice little flip to the pitcher covering. 
Those are those PFPs, pitchers, fielding plays. Two outs, base is empty. And next for L.A., Trey Turner. Good contact guy, good defender. Hard hit, right side. Takes it himself, out. third out. Hard of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Dodgers six and the Cardinals two. Next offering is foul back. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there's one down. Nolan Arenado. Next up for the Cardinals. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. And here it comes. Good eye in that spot. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. David Price. The left-handed reliever appears to be getting loose. Bickford, the right-hander, also getting loose. The wind of the pitch. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. This is Dylan Carlson. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Arenado leads off first with one away. Next offering is way upstairs. And now the lefty rips one to right. That's a hit. The throw in, safe at second. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. That's a base hit. And they hold the runner at third, but the bases are loaded now with one out. The catcher number four. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. Molina. Next He's pitch gone. misses inside, and it's two and one. And he deals. On the ground to third, might be two. He pulls into second. A run comes in on the play. And up next for St. Louis, Paul DeYoung. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Base is loaded. One away. Ground ball could be two. To second, that's one. On to Freddie. Double play. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. Welcome back. New inning getting started. And now, Justin Turner. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. One one now. Good eye right there. Movement in the bullpen for the Cardinals. Nick Wickren preparing to come on if needed. That one 
one misses. Three balls and a strike. The wind and the pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. The wind and the pitch. Fouled off again and it remains three and two. Righty to the plate. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Freddie Freeman. The 1-1. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Next offering is fouled back. And a ball in two strikes. That one is hammered right field. This one is crushed. And that one is out of here. Freddie Freeman pops one out of here. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 8-3. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. The new pitcher in the game, Nick Wittgren. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. And up to the plate is Will Smith. He's 0 for 1. On the ground to short. Over to Goldie. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. And now it's Max Muncy. And that one is lifted in the air. Edmund gets under it. Calls it in, two away. Now batting, left fielder, Chris Taylor. And up next for Los Angeles, Chris Taylor. Oh. That one in for a strike, two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one fouled hard the other way. Two-two now. And that one just missed off the outside edge. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Next pitch has popped up. Arenado has a beat on it. And that'll do it. Two-run shot for the Dodgers this inning. It's now 8-3. Back here at the ballpark, set for the last half of the seventh. And now, Harrison Bader. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. Safely into third with a leadoff triple. Oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. So the batting order turns over. Tommy Edmond next up for the Cardinals. This one high in the air to left center. Bellinger ranging to his right. Drops into the glove. Runner tags from third. 
Throw is offline, and he scores. And it's 8-4. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Paul Goldschmidt next up for the Cardinals. And a pitch. Good eye right there. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. And down on strikes. Two away now. New pitcher for the Dodgers, now David Price. And he'll do his Tyler. best to hang on to this lead. Oh, Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Tyler O'Neill. That one hammered left field. Way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He flexes his power with that swing, and they cut him to the lead. It's 8-5. got in the jet stream on a line drive we saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders which is usually bad news and all of a sudden they're back in this ball game here's Nolan Arenado and one and two Two down, nobody on. And that skips in the dirt. Playing two balls, two strikes. Two outs. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Turner with the throw to first. And they get Arenado for the out. And that's the third out. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Dodgers eight and the Redbirds five. This is Cabrera taking them out. Hey, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Number 92, Henderson Cabrera. Ready to begin the eighth. And now Gavin Lux. It's fouled away. Left-hand batter waits. Ripped to third and caught. One down. There comes Cody Bellinger. Next pitch is inside, and it's two and one. Kicks and deals. Line to left, and it drops in, but a good job to keep it in front. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Now it's the right fielder, Mookie Betts. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him.
carries a 1-1. That's a strike. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. He swings and fouls one off. Bellinger leads off first with one away. Next oh. offering misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Hits for average power, the ability to feel the arm, and then the speed. Really impressive. Next offering is down low. Stays alive. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Trey Turner with a chance now. pitch hammered on a line to the left base hit throw back in holds the runner at third base is now loaded only one away one out base is loaded and now here is Justin Turner the next offering misses and it's two and one One out, base is full. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And that's just foul. Two down. Swing and a base hit. One run is in. Now a long throw home. Not in time. He scores. It's now 10 to 5. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Jordan Hicks gets the call from the pen. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Jordan Hicks. One out. Runners at first and second. Freeman in the box now. No balls and a strike. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. And the right hater deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. So two down now. And here is Will Smith. Belton fires and fouled off. Three two now. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Dodgers 10 and the Redbirds 5. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Phil Bickford. 
and a healthy sized lead for him to go to work with. And welcome back. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Dylan Carlson. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. At the plate, Corey Dickerson. Next offering is in for a strike. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Here comes a pitch. And he chases that one. And there's one down. And now it's going to be Yadier Molina. And now the count is even. Moving in the bullpen, Rustar Grotterol looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Trying it, getting cranked up as well. Two, two. And that one fouled off. Next pitch has popped up. Lux under it. And there's two away. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Paul DeYoung digs in now. And the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. So one left for the Cardinals. Work to do. It's 10-5. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound, Cody Whitley. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. Back here at Bush Stadium. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's going to be Max Muncy. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. So digging in, Chris Taylor. Well struck left field. That's down. One hops off the wall. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Man at second with one away. Gavin Lux will hit next. Next pitch misses, and it's two and two. One out and a runner at second. That's towards center. Pulls up and it drops for a hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Two on with one out. 
Now here is Cody Bellinger. Ball to strike. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. One and two now. First and third, one down. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. And that drops foul. On the ground a second, might be two. Edmonds slings the first. There for the out, runner scores from third. Here's Mookie now. Runner at second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Upstairs. Man on second, two down. High in the air, out to right. Carlson makes the catch, and that'll do it. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Dodgers 11 and the Redbirds 5. To the mound now, they turn to Blake Trinan, and he's got a nice lead to work with. Here's the center fielder, Harrison Bader. And the righty deals. And now two balls and a strike. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Soft contact in the air. Freeman over to first in time. Pitcher gets to the back for the out. Now batting, second baseman, Tommy Edmond. Back to the top of the lineup. Now the batter now, Tommy Edmond. Pitch misses, and a count two and one. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Brewstar Grotterol, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Here's a 2-1. That's hard hit on the line. Bellinger makes the grab. And there are two down. Now batting. First baseman. Paul. Two outs. Base is empty. Now up for St. Louis. Paul Goldschmidt. Next one misses, ball three. Kicks and fires. Pitches in there. Three balls, two strikes. Just one strike away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, you can tell these guys feel great and also relieved to even up the series. There's so much on the line. You've worked so hard to get here. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a game seven in this series. Seven five, your final score. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.
First for the Victoria Dodgers, 11 runs, 15 hits, one error. They left nine men on base. For St. Louis, five runs on 11 hits, one error. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and 18 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Bush Stadium, a sellout, 45,529. The Cardinals would like to thank you for joining us. Please drive home safely.